Luke Pollard. <coughs> Mr Holloway. Um, before the interruption, I was just talking about road signs and whether they point to Plymouth, Perth, Paris, Panama or Phnom Penh, they're really important and they're right around the world. And this is an issue that was brought to my attention by one of my constituents called Trevor Gorman, whose son, also called Trevor, was killed in a road accident last June on the A38 that runs through Plymouth. Trevor was driving with his two friends when their van collided with a road traffic post which killed all three men. The post they collided with, the, the post they collided with was made of steel and was not designed to collapse or crumple to absorb the impact of the shock. Experts at the inquest stated that a pole... The pole met requirements when it was erected in the 1990s, but had not been replaced since then. The accident that took the lives of these three young men could have been pre prevented. The steel signpost has now been changed, thanks to si uh, Highways England, to one that could crumple, a lattice-type pole that crumples in the event of impacts. I wrote to the Minister uh, on 15th of March, trying to raise awareness of the importance of crumpable lattice poles in preference to the hard steel poles that do not crumple when hit uh, by, uh, traffic, uh, by traffic that comes off the road. I also wrote and met with Jim O'Sullivan, the Chief Executive of Highways England, who confirmed that they would replace the sign, with, not with the same steel post they used in the past, but with that crumpleable post. This is really important because right across the world, as we see more and more traffic, there are more and more hard steel, galvanised steel posts being erected on motorways, on, on lesser roads right around the world. In Britain, we are seeing many of those hard posts replaced by lattice-type posts. And I invite all the members, next time you are driving on busy motorways, to have a look at the signposts. Because if they are the kind of lattice types that you can see through, they will crumple if your car were to hit them, absorbing the impact and not having the pole come loose and then uh, being able to impact people in the cars, which is how Trevor Gorman and his friends uh, died. I'm sure honourable members will be familiar with the 1968 UN Convention on Road Signs and Signals, which sought to standardise the amount of signs. What it didn't do was standardise the poles that those signs are attached to. Because Mr Gorman, who has been running a fantastic campaign to raise awareness of this issue, wants to make sure that no other families suffer that knock on the door that my honourable friend from Huddersfield spoke about earlier. And if we can do that not only in England, but for traffic authorities right across the UK, but around the world, then those three young men who died on the A38 because their van hit a pole that could not collapse might not have died in vain. Thank you, Mr Holman. Now come to the...